Of all the questions left unanswered by the last war, and probably any war, one comes back constantly to my mind. Why does a spy risk his life? For what possible reason? If the spy wins, he's ignored. If he loses, he's shot. Come here. Come here. Links. Up. Order the March. But a man stays alive as long as he's remembered and is killed only by forgetfulness. Let the names of men like this remain unknown. But let the memories of some of them serve as keys to the meanings of treason. On the 8th of December, 1944, six months after a piece of enemy shrapnel cut short my career with a second assault and signal company on Omaha Beach, I was reassigned by headquarters, ComZ ETO, in order to report to a new outfit, G2 SSS 7th Army. That's what it was called. There'd been no snow, a lot of krauts when I left France, and now the krauts were backed up against the Rhine, and the snow was everywhere. Otherwise, the war hadn't changed much. Crowded in the rear areas, and lonely as you got nearer and nearer the front. There's nothing but a map to tell you where the enemy was supposed to be. But you soon discovered if your map was accurate or not. Hey, what's that? It's a German half-track, that's what it is. I don't get it. I wasn't here when I came by this morning. Well, let's turn around here and find out where we are. Yes, sir. Right here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I keep telling them back at headquarters I got no sense of direction, but they just won't listen to me. The soldier's not much good if he can't find his way back to his own outfit. It's like not being able to find your way home. My home? My home's in Boise. For crying out. We've come 20 miles out of the way. Now we'll probably have to fight our way through a whole crowd. I said, keep your hands up. That's what I meant. Come on. Stand still. Watch those hands, soldier. He was hit by shrapnel, sir. You're in the Luftwaffe. What are you doing around here? I'm with a flat group. We're attached to an infantry division. Yeah, which one? I'm sorry, sir, but I can't tell you anything that isn't in my sword book. Hold me to refresh his memory, Lieutenant. Uh, leave him alone. Where's your CP? I don't know. We got lost. They're not the only ones. Richter, Paul, Unteroffizier. He's weak, sir. We haven't eaten for three days. Not half as weak as he's going to be if you don't keep those hands up. You look like you could use a shot yourself. No, thank you. All right, climb aboard. All right, out, soldiers. Where'd you pick them up, Lieutenant? About five miles from here. Over here, you two. Hey, I'm supposed to report to a town called Mormon Tears. You know where that is? Stay right in this road, sir, until you get to a town called Severn. Just before you get into the town, take the first fork on your left. You can't miss it. OK, thanks. Hey, here's their soul books. Hey, want a pistol, Lieutenant? Yeah, give me that. A pistol. In there, you two. Come on. I want to thank you, sir, for treating us with kindness. Come on, crowd heads, get moving. You're holding up the war.
Well, we finally made it. Strange as it seemed to me then, this was the headquarters to which I was assigned. Just a moment, sir. Sister Therese is coming. Bonjour, Monsieur Jean. How was the hunting this morning? No good, Sister Beatrice. There wasn't a chicken on the road. Sir. Sorry about getting lost. Oh, forget it. I just hope this is the right place. Through here, sir. The adjutant's office is right in the courtyard. I'll get the bags to your room. Hey, bud. How'd I get to the adjutant? Around the corner, your left, sir. Hey, Monique. Will you show the lieutenant the way? You wish to see the capitaine? Yeah, I guess so. This way, please. The children are from the orphanage here. Oh, of course. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Monsieur Watkins, the officer wants to see Captain Sibert. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? This is headquarters at G2SSS. That's right. I've got orders to report here. Oh, you're the new communications officer. Colonel Devlin sure will be glad to see you. Can you follow me, please? Hmm. Could I see your AGO card? Sorry, security regulations. Thanks. Sister Genevieve, how are you today? Oh, Sisters certainly take good care of us. They've adopted us just like they're orphans. Yeah, it's quite a place. We had a hard time finding one until Captain Siebert located this. We don't like to be too close to the Army. Sometimes they don't understand our procedure. I can see their point. After five years of fixing the place up again, our guys are trying to help. Up here? Yes, sir. Pardon me, sir. What is it, Watkins? This is our new communications officer. Here's his order, sir. Lieutenant Rennick, sir, reporting for duty. Glad you finally got here, Lieutenant. Sit down. I'll be with you in a minute. Where was I, Simonson? That the intelligence penetration... Oh, yes. That the intelligence penetration of Germany by French or Alsatian agents or by any non-German personnel is practically an impossibility. Okay, Simonson? Yes, sir. Now for the rough part. I therefore ask that you reconsider our request in connection with the use of German prisoners of war in our work. We've already located many promising candidates in several PW camps. How about the men down at the Saarburg cage, Pete? They said they'd hold them another day or two, sir. All right. These men, I believe, if properly trained and used, can help save American lives. We intend to take only volunteers, and in that case, we'll... Pinpoint forward, Captain Siebert speaking. Yes, he's here. Just a minute. G2 7th Army, sir. Devlin speaking. Yes, sir. Then we can go ahead as discussed. Well, I'm sure you won't regret it. Thank you, sir. Bye. Forget the memo, Simonson. The old boy came through. Army says try it out. Well, that's very gracious of them, I'd say. This calls for a drink, don't you think, Colonel? Right. Break out the quenched, Harold. All right. Oh, I'm sorry I forgot to introduce you. This is Gevers recruiting. Hi. Major Richards, our exec. Welcome to our club. Vincent, documents. Oh, Lieutenant. Siebert. Where is he? Oh, Siebert, security. Glad to meet you, Lieutenant. Sergeant Simonson, best red tape specialist on both sides of the Atlantic. Thank you, sir. Now, this is Lieutenant, uh, what was your name again? Rennick. That's right, Lieutenant Rennick, our new communications officer. Richards, we want transportation first thing in the morning for Sarburg. Well, we're finally going to pay a visit to your German friends, Pete. Pardon me, sir, but if I may, I'd like to talk with you about my duties. Well, it can wait till morning, can it, Lieutenant? How about coming along to Sarburg with us? It'll give you an idea of what it's all about. Votre santé, monsieur. Or should I say, prost. 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 No, sir, not me. When a man gets his life handed back to him like I just did, he'd be a fool to put it up for sale again. I'll do any kind of work you want. Next, ma'am. 
I have never been interested in politics. If they forced me to join the party, it was the only way I could get a promotion. All right, next, ma'am. Sergeant Rudolf Bart reporting, sir. At ease, Sergeant. Sit down. You smoke? Yes, sir, I do. Dick? Thank you. No, not now. What unit were you with when captured? 24th Infantry. Or what was left of it. Did you desert? No, sir. I was caught by one of your patrols while... Uh, while visiting the wife of an Alsatian farmer. She was a very lonely woman, sir. How long have you been in the Wehrmacht, Barth? Since 41, unfortunately. And before that? I worked in a panzer factory in Hamburg. And before that, I was with the circus. Yes, sir, I took care of two tigers in the lion. A lioness, to be exact. I lost my job when the old woman died. Have you ever been in jail? Yes, sir. In 36 in Düsseldorf and in 42 in Norway. And what were the charges? In civilian life, theft. And in the army, how shall I say, uh, insubordination. I hope it won't count against me. And what are your political convictions? My political convictions? I've never been able to afford any. And then why do you want to work for us? Because you're winning the war. Isn't that a good enough reason? Well, good or bad, I suppose it's a valid one. In other words, you don't mind the general disaster as long as you come out ahead. If you want to put it that way. I guess a few years ago, for the same reason, you were shouting Zig Heil. No, not that. That was one swindle I never fell for. They were too much like my cats to suit me. Dangerous to turn your back on. Would you work for us, even if it meant risking your life? I didn't expect the job to be safe or pleasant. Why should you take Germans for safe work while your own people are in danger? All right, Sergeant, we'll think about it. Next. This next guy is supposed to be an experienced radio man. Pardon me, may I ask you a question now, sir? What is it? How much do you pay? Thanks a lot, Sergeant. Don't forget to keep our guys separated from the others. I know what you mean, sir. I'll take care of it. This way, sir. Look, I wonder what he's doing here. Don't you know? They look for volunteers who will work for them. Have they found any? Yes. But there are men here who will remember their names. And someday, when we've won, they'll be taken care of. When we've won, you'll still believe in that? <coughs> Here they come, the volunteers. Look at them. They are ready to do anything, just to save their own hides. Like most of us. What did you say? Yes, we are no different from them. We didn't care what happened to others, as long as they didn't bother any of us. We just closed our eyes and went along, until we found ourselves forced to fight the wrong enemy. You sound as if you're all set to join the Americans yourself. I don't know. That takes courage. The trouble with me is I want to stay alive. Like most of us, I talk, but I do nothing. Paul? Paul, are you asleep? No. What is it? Did you see their faces this morning out in the yard? Yes. For some of them, nothing has changed, even now. Richter, the armies want you for questioning. The Americans want me now? Yes, come with me. a court-martial of the Wehrmacht. You are accused of treason against your Führer and your fatherland. Have you anything to say in your defense? What are you doing here? Eavesdropping, huh? Get it over with, quick! Feed up. 
Matthews, pull out of a window. Let's get him inside before there's more trouble. Hey, you fellas, come over with that light. All right. Bring it up, you fellas. Come on, there's nothing to look at. Bring it up, I said. Which room did the guy fall from? Fall? Oh, are you kidding? He was pushed. Better keep your mouth shut, you man. All right, let's go. Well, what about you? Let's go. Monsieur Ragnit, Monsieur Ragnit. Yeah? Sergeant Watkins asked me to tell you there is a German to see you downstairs. A soldier. Morning, Griffin. Morning, sir. Wanted to see me? What's it all about? I remembered you from the morning I was captured, sir. I thought maybe you can help me. The morning you were captured? Don't you remember those cops we picked up in Hagenau Woods, Lieutenant? Oh, yeah. How's your friend doing? He was killed, sir. Ten days ago. He was killed? By whom? He was murdered by some of the other prisoners. Yeah, I heard about that. He was pushed out of a window, wasn't he? Yes. Coffee, Dick? No, thanks. Is that why you came here? No, sir. It is, well, I want to work for you, and I thought you might be able to help me. You know what you're getting into? It doesn't matter. Even if it means fighting against your own people? I believe fighting against them now is fighting for them. Are you sure it isn't the murder of your friend that's prompting you to do this? No, sir. That was only the last thing that happened. Sit down. Thank you. Look, it's none of my business, but the job you'll have to do here isn't as clean and simple as you may think. I don't feel there's any difference between one way of fighting or another. Isn't the important thing to believe in what you're fighting for? Well, what do you believe in, do you know? That is a change when your crowd's taking a beating. Hey, got a cigarette? Sit down, Corporal. Don't let me interrupt. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. What do you believe in? I don't quite know how to say it. But I believe in a life in which one is not always afraid. In a life in which people are free and honest with each other. And I know we won't have this in Germany until... until we have lost. That sounds great. What makes you so sure you'll be able to stick to these convictions? Things will change. You'll be facing your own people. It may become hard for you then to hold on to your beliefs. Well, not any harder than it has been. Not any harder than fighting for something I knew was wrong. You were a medic. You didn't really fight. To be there is to fight. There's something in what you say, Corporal. Griffin. Griffin! Yes, sir? Now, Major Richards, I want to keep this man here a few days. Yes, sir. We'll let you know. This way. Seems like a decent kid. What do you think, Pete? Yeah, quite unusual in this racket. As a matter of fact, he looks like one of the few crowds we can trust. How about you, Rennick? I'm a signal officer, sir. I'm sorry. I really have no opinion about any of them. That didn't seem to be the case a moment ago. The way you talked to this kid sounded as if you had a pretty definite point of view. What is it? Well, if you want to know, sir, I, I think they're all a bunch of lice. But if I had to make a choice, I'd go along with this guy from the circuit. He's a crook. At least he doesn't kid himself about why he's working for us. I think you're wrong about the boy, Rennick. There are all kinds of traitors, and I have no more sympathy with them than you have. But our personal feelings and opinions are unimportant as long as these men are serving our cause. That's why from now on, when you're on the job, you'll have only one opinion. And that's the right one for the job. Everything set for the night, Pete? Yes. Oh, 0200 hours, Tiger and Freddy. Be sure and check their briefing before I take them through. It's their first time. Oh, and Pete, I want Lieutenant Rennick to go along. It may do you some good. That's all. See you later. Oh, 0200 hours. A piece of no man's land was indicated by Division G2 as a spot where two of our agents, known as Tiger and Freddy, were to be smuggled through enemy lines. They were to secure information on SS and elite troops in this sector. It was... A so-called tourist mission. Minefield. Wait here. Minefield, wait. Mines. Remember, 
The most important thing is exact map coordinates for your report. No report at all is better than one in which you're not 100% sure. That's simple. What I want to know is... Look, just let me do the talking. Tiger, what I was trying to say is that sometimes out of ambition, you're apt to exaggerate and report things you haven't seen. Me? I never lie. That's exactly what I meant. You may not lie, but you certainly exaggerate. Okay, we can go now. Single file. Come on, single file. The captain said he'd give us a short artillery barrage just for cover. It should start any moment now. That's it. Better get them ready, Lieutenant. Okay. Ready? You first. Don't forget your danger signals, a group of five Ds. Time of transmission, 2,400 hours. Yes, sir. I want to ask a question. Uh, what is it? Who is the captain of the team? What? Who is in command? Quiet. Quiet. You are, Tiger, and you're responsible for your teammate. All right, as long as I know. Okay. Good luck to both of you. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Okay. But remember, from now on, I'm giving orders. Let's go. Just keep to your left. We'll stop him in just a moment. The German line's are about 300 yards over there. Lots of luck. You're in good hands now. Follow me, please. It's a cot near the window. You make your own bed here. All personal belongings will be turned over to me, and you will get a receipt for them. And what about my wallet? They took it away from me. I had a couple of photographs of my mother and father. I would like to keep them, if possible. All your personal documents will be kept in the headquarters safe until the war is over. You have been told your code name is Happy? Yes. As you will see by this list of regulations, under no circumstances will you reveal your true name or identity to anyone. Remember that. All right now, Happy. Hold it. Good. Father's name? Friedrich Maurer. Profession? A doctor. He's a surgeon. When did you last see him? Uh, about a year ago in Berlin. He was in charge of the hospital there. I thought in America only criminals are fingerprinted. <laughs> come on, boys, come on, come on. Over here, over here. Come on, let's go, hurry up. Here is an example of the Wehrmacht blacklist. It's the greatest single danger that confronts an agent in the Reich. It carries the names of all suspects. It's brought up to date by a weekly supplement which carries the number of the week on its cover. Hey, what's the matter, Happy? Move Come on, Come on. stay on your feet. Don't let that shoot drag you. Now, pull hard on the bottom line. Rennick. Rennick. Yes, sir. When was our last radio contact with Freddy? About four nights ago. Did he send his danger signal? No, he came in on schedule. Stayed in the air for about 20 minutes, midnight on. According to your note, Simonson, wasn't that the evening he said he last saw him? Yes, sir, at approximately 9 o'clock. What do you want me to assume? That Lieutenant Rennick is lying and you're telling the truth? I don't know. I may have made a mistake. You I may have made it. a mistake. Listen, Tiger, we warned you before you left that you were responsible for the safety of your teammate. Now you show up with a wild story that he was picked up by the Wehrmacht control and shipped to the Eastern Front. I'm telling the truth. I warned him not to go out at night, but he wouldn't listen. How do you know they shipped him to the Eastern Front? I told you I had friends in Manama I could trust. One of them checked on it. Now, wait a minute. Didn't you say before you couldn't get along with Freddy, that you had some kind of an argument? Well, were you lying then or now? I'm not lying, sir. Yes, we had an argument. I got mad and hit him, and he, he ran out in the street. Why did you tell us that before? I did. I just didn't say it was the same night. I was frightened, that's all. Listen to me, Barth. You know as well as I do that before the summer is over, we'll be in Germany, in every city and town. 
And if we find out you've betrayed us, whether you're a double agent or a plain crook, you'll wind up in front of a firing squad. I have nothing to worry about. I haven't been disloyal, sir. I have... Get him out of here, Watkins. Yes, sir. Come on. Give me a chance to prove what I've said is true. Get out! Got a cigarette, Rennie? Maybe not the best liar I've ever heard, but certainly the biggest. I wonder how much that crowd's paid him. Peter want him sent back to the Joe house and treated as if nothing had happened. Yes, sir. Siebert, get CIC on it right away. Tell him it's urgent. Yes, sir. Hello? Get me Captain Hendricks and 708 Cadet forward, please. I know it sounds crazy, but he may be telling the truth. He's too smart a liar to lie that badly. Well, what's new in Company D? Say, you know what the D stands for? The damned. That's what we are. Here, Molitchin. If anyone deserves a second helping tonight, I do. I don't have to tell you, the food on the other side of our glorious Rhine stinks. What's the matter with all of you? I go out and do a job while the rest of you sit here by the fire, and when I come back, you look at me as if, well, for heaven's sake, say something. What happened to Freddy? He was your teammate, wasn't he? Sure he was, and he got caught. So what? That's a chance every one of us takes. Anyway, I remember none of you were this upset about Red when he got lost. Red? It was different. How do you know it was? What do any of you know about it, huh? Nothing. Listen to him talk. Well, Freddy got caught because he wasn't smart enough. Because he was dumb dickhead. It's like the rest of That's why it was Knock it off, all of you. All right, forget it. Here. You haven't forgotten the old song? Will this all be remembered? Well, they are playing it all over again. Uh, may I have a cup of coffee, please? Sure. Who was right? A boy who missed his pinpoint. He didn't jump when the green light went on. He landed 20 miles off his target outside an SS barracks with his pair shoot anger in a tree. It doesn't happen often. You don't have to be afraid. I'm not. Not of the champ, anyway. And what are you afraid of? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be inquisitive. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind. You know, once I was doing the same job, and I, too, was afraid the first time I jumped. Maybe in a different way. But that's why I think I know what's bothering you. You do? What is it? You are afraid of having to face your own people, aren't you? Sir, with a dispatch. Yes. Colonel Devlin? That's right. This is from Colonel Williamson, sir. Top secret. Come on, hurry up. We're bringing you guys together is getting tougher every day. What's it all about, anyway? Shh. All right, gentlemen. Here's the dope. General Yeager, commanding the 4th Corps, here along the east bank of the Rhine, has sent emissaries to Switzerland, informing us that he's willing to surrender his entire corps as soon as he can establish contact with our troops. He's also requested that we put in a radio mission that'll be hidden here in Mannheim to act as a communications link between his headquarters and us. Is that clear? Uh -huh. Sure. Well, looks as if the crowds have finally wised up. D2 has approved Jaeger's request and asked that we put in a tourist mission about 250 miles behind this sector here in the vicinity of Munich to find out how much mobile strength the Germans can bring up to close in the gap in case the surrender comes off. G2 also suspects that elements of the 11th Panzer Corps are being held back here as a mobile reserve to be thrown in wherever needed. Now, the Mannheim job will require a team of one radio operator and a first-class agent who really knows the town and has contacts there he can depend on. Well, who have you got in mind, Colonel? Now, don't all jump on me. The only man who can do it is our friend Barth, the Tiger. You're not serious, are you kidding? Here's the CIC report that came in yesterday on the Tiger's first mission. They checked his story, and it seems that everything he said was true. Furthermore, G2 has given us an intelligence mission and A rating. 
Besides that, he was... he was born and raised in Mannheim. That's right, Rennick. That's why no matter how we feel about him, at the moment, he's the logical choice. What about his teammate, the radio man? I'd like to talk about that later. First, let's take up the tourist mission. I want to send Happy. Any objections? No, sir. But, so help me, I don't get sending the tiger. Richards, is Monique here? Yes, sir. She's waiting outside. Ask her to come in. Hold your horses, Pete. He's not on the plane yet. Okay, Bob? Yeah, okay. Come in, honey. Sit down, Monique. Would you care for a cup of coffee or a cigarette? A cigarette's okay, sir. Tell us about the tiger, Monique. Have you noticed anything recently that we should hear about? No, sir. He hasn't changed. As usual, he doesn't get along with the others, and he's difficult, but that's all. How would you feel about sending him out again? I would send him, sir. I'm all for that if it's just to get rid of him. Okay. How about Happy? I think that in many ways he's the best of them all. Why? Because... Well, because he's the first German I've known who really believes in what he's doing. You think he's ready to go? What's the matter, Monique? There's only one thing that might make it difficult for him. Maybe because he's young and honest. He may begin to doubt himself once he's back in his own country. If this mission is difficult, I think it would be better to wait. Come here a minute, Monique. First service since the Germans left. Look, Monique, we've known each other for quite a while. The deal I made with you in Algiers before you jumped into France was that you'd always be on the level with me, right? Yes. Then I want to ask you something. I know what you said about happy is true, but I feel there's something you didn't tell me. What? Are you in love with him? He's a Bosch, sir, like all the others. We have too much to forget before we can love any of them. May I go now? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Richards? Yes, sir? I want Monique transferred. Do we have another job for her? I'll see what I can do. Would Station K be all right? Sure, sure, that's fine. Now about the radio man for the Mannheim mission. The Germans have requested that one member of the mission be an American officer. Army agrees. They feel it'll show we mean business. Therefore, it's clear in this case that the American will have to be the radio man. Go ahead, Colonel. You're with me, Rennick. I can't order you to do this. and Under the circumstances, I'm sure none of us would blame you if you said no. Can't we get an officer from the Army Communication Center? We could train him in a few days. You couldn't train him in even a few weeks. Now, if you're worried about Tiger, I think I can handle him. He'd have a hard time pushing me around. Look, I don't get you. A few weeks ago, you didn't seem to like this job very much. Well, he changed his mind. No, I haven't. I still don't like it, but we have no choice. Besides, you said it was important, didn't you, Colonel? Anybody got a cigarette? Yeah, sure. You know I don't smoke. You're fine, sir. Well, let's check your gear. Your shovel, that goes here. Mm -hmm. Your landing gun, shoot pack, helmet, gloves. The rucksack's for your radio. You better put it in yourself so you know it's all right. Good. Everything OK, Rennie? No complaints so far, sir. Did you pack the shoot yourself, Williams? Yes, sir. I packed them this morning. Well, I see you've got all your medals on, Barth. Maybe even a couple of extra. No, sir. They're all my own. Iron Cross in Norway, Sturmabzeichen in France, and Winter Campaign 41 in the East. I wonder how many of our guys he knocked off to get them. None, sir. I got them all in my own special way. And two others, sir, of course. Don't fall in love with any of this stuff, Happy. Remember, you have to bury your gear once you land. Yes, sir. You can go draw your personal supplies now. Martin. Yes, sir? Take them over to the prop shop. Yes, sir. 
What's the takeoff time? Oh, 100 hours, sir. That's if the weather holds. Good. When they're through here, bring them over to the briefing room. Yes, sir. Got your checkoff list? Yes, sir. Here, honey, check this guy out. One compass, German cigarettes, three packages. Their mattress and stamps, benzodrines, five tablets. Their stimulants, don't take more than one a day. German razor blades, six, and one razor. German maps, sheet Y3, Y4, Y5. Let's see, that's all. Good luck to you. Thank you, Monique. Okay, Happy. Here you are, Monique. Two more customers. If there's anything else you can think of, sir, just let me know. You're all through, Happy. The Colonel wants you in the briefing room. Yes, sir. These are his papers, sir. His soul book, with his health record inside, and his orders. The money in his Vermark travel certificates are in this envelope. All right, Happy, let's go over it once more. What name are you traveling under? Steiner Kardel, Luftwaffe Medic. Number L43587. We took his age, place of birth, etc., out of his own soul book. Well, at least you didn't have to memorize that. What's your cover? I'm on sick leave, returning from base hospital 12 at Wasserreichenhalt. What was the doctor's name who signed your orders? Förster. I had pneumonia. We marked it on the health record with code number 7. Good. Now show me your pinpoint. It's here. East of München, near Friedolfing. After I bury my shoot and my gear, I go to München by way of Wasserburg Highway. I'm supposed to be on my way back to my outfit near Mannheim. And your route? It's München, Augsburg, Stuttgart, and then Mannheim. Now what's your objective? To locate the 11th Panzer Corps. The headquarters, I believe, to be in this area somewhere northwest of München. Suppose you have to change your route. But I'd have an extra set of travel orders and a date stamp. Right. Here they are. Extra set of orders, a date stamp, official Wehrmacht seal. Be careful to mark your map so that no one except you can interpret it. I know, sir. Pardon me, sir. Rennick and the Tiger are ready for you. We haven't got much time. All right, bring them in. Get back here, Happy. Even if you haven't done it all, you've got to be back here in five days. I will, sir. Okay, Happy. Well, how does it feel to be a civilian again? Fine. Just tell the pilot to drop me in Cleveland, Ohio. If you ever want to get back to Cleveland, you better concentrate on this. Now, where's your pinpoint? It's a meadow about five kilometers south of... Beer Belden, sir. You know exactly where that is? I've only been staring at it on the map for three solid days. In case you're separated on landing, what's the address of the safe house in Mannheim? 18 Necherstrasse, second floor rear. 18? You sure? Not 28? 18. Knock off the kidding, Pete. How about you, Barth? Are you certain that your people in Mannheim will let the lieutenant in? Yes, he must knock four times, with an interval after the first two. When they open, he has only to say, greetings from the tiger. Okay. Well, we told General Jaeger's people where they can contact you. Now, is there anything else? Yeah. One little thing. While we're all talking here together as friends, I'd just like to say that what happened to Freddy is not going to happen to me. If I get caught, it won't be my fault. Is that clear? What do you mean? He means just what he said. Lieutenant Rennick is not likely to want to take a walk around Mannheim just for the fun of it. Furthermore, in any disagreement that might come up, no matter what happens, Lieutenant Rennick will always be right. Get that through your head, Barth. Lieutenant Rennick will always be right. I don't know. Sometimes I'd rather go than stay behind. Don't kid yourself, brother. feel to be going home. Home? Fine, I hope. 
Well, if you're hungry, Amigo here, I'll give you a sandwich. No, thank you. Well, hasta luego, muchachos. I'll let you know a few minutes before we approach. Are you an American? Why? Don't I look like one? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. You didn't, huh? I just hope that before this is over, I can get a crack at a couple of square heads like you. You hate us, don't you? Call it anything you like. I haven't yet felt sorry when I've seen a string of hundred pounders eat that bomb rack. There's some coffee. Thank you. Proceeding further than München, will stamp their orders at the front Leitstelle in the main station. Extra, extra. Hey, Mutter, how about an Armblatt? Yeah, one Armblatt. See, have you got ten Phoenix? Too bad, but I have no change. Just a minute. Yeah, here's a mark. Thank you. Here, Mutter, keep that change. What are you looking for? Uh, the 
Mr. Park, that's silly, please. Right over there. Thank you. I'm returning to my unit from the hospital in Bad Reichenhall. Who took this week's security list? Number nine hasn't come in yet. Here's last week's list. Thank you. Diner, 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 diner. All right. To Mannheim, by the way, of Augsburg, Ulm, Stuttgart. You will get your train information from the Wehrmacht controller outside on the platform. Next. Uh, please. I have a friend in 11th Panzer Corps. Do you happen to know where the headquarters are now? 11th Panzer Corps? I heard you were around here somewhere. Weren't they in Fürth? Yeah, it's just outside of Nuremberg. Thanks. To Freiburg? Please don't crowd. One at a time. Anything wrong with my ticket? Wait a moment. I just checked with the owner of it's here. Uh, when is the next train to Nuremberg, Freiburg? Your orders? I don't know if the track to Nuremberg is repaired. Wait a minute. Sure it is. There's a train at 9.30. Tori? Nuremberg all right? Yes, they just finished working on the track. Guess you were right. I usually am, Fräulein. Come on, track seven. The night is shorter when you have someone to talk to. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but uh, I've been meaning to ask you. Where did you get all your money? What money? <laughs> that fat roll you carry in your pocket. I just got back pay for three months. Besides, it isn't very much. <laughs> well, I really don't care how much it is. As long as you'll kindly agree to uh, loan me. Let's say half of it. Now, let me explain it to you. I'm simply in need of cash and... I'm perfectly willing to let you profit by it. Here. Take your choice. Where else in our country could you get a better deal? Paper for gold. The fat stomach this used to go around, I assure you, is much thinner now. But maybe this. This is a better investment for a young man like you. It comes from a good marriage. I think they had been together... Yeah, 25 years. How about it? Oh, thanks. I don't plan to get married. Well, that's up to you. But if you change your mind, remember you'll be helping a friend. Who knows, maybe someday you'll need one. I think we better get some sleep now. You know, sometimes I envy you fellows at the front. At least you can save your money. Me, I spend all mine here. On trains or buses, or at best on my motorcycle. Heinz Scholz, special courier of the waffen -SS. Some title, eh? But money? No. No? <sighs> Happy dreams, copper. <sighs> Your main objective is to locate the 11th Panzer Corps. Weren't they in Fürth? Are you sure you'll be able to stick to your convictions? You'll be facing your own people. The fat stomach this used to go around, I assure you, is much thinner now. It may become hard for you then to hold on to your beliefs. Ich 
before I steal your field? Eleventh Panzer Corps. No, I don't. How do I get to field, please? Can't you read? Over there. Please. My sister was bombed out last night oh, for the third time. How long can it go on? How long can they expect us to live like this? Shh, don't talk like that. Yes. And then he kept complaining about the food. You get it all at the front, I told him. He laughed like he was crazy. Fritz, my own son. Carl. Carl. Herr Maurer. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. You're Carl Maurer, aren't you? Don't you remember me? I'm Paula Schneider. I worked for your father in Berlin. I'm sure I remember. You better head nurse at this clinic. I suppose it's uniform. It does make us all look different. How long have you been in the Luftwaffe? I was called in 43. Look at you. I remember when you first started school. You were still living across from the clinic. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Nuremberg West, control point. All passengers out. Hospital in Würzburg. You saw my father? Yes. Did you know he was stationed there? Oh, yes, I heard he was transferred from Berlin. He's better off in Würzburg. Safer, I hope. Are you going to see him? I'm trying to get permission to stop there. Oh, well, they'll give it to you. Just tell them you haven't seen your father for a long time. Name it, Frank. Schneider, Paula, FPN 347. All right, go ahead. Name it, Frank. Uh, I'm afraid I didn't have my order stamp today. You'll have to see the fell people. Is that the main control point? Excuse me, maybe I can help. I know the copper very well. His father is chief surgeon at the Würzburg Base Hospital. If you want, I can vouch for copper. Uh, don't worry, Frau Schneider. It's just a formality. Go ahead. Well, when you see your father, please give him my best. I will. Thank you. I'll see the same. Hey, where are you going? It's up there on your left, next to the monument. This is the control point, not the commandantur. I can't help you if your papers aren't in order. Come on, get moving. I know, I know, nothing over. I can't let you through. Corporal Steiner reporting, sir. Yes? I didn't have a chance to get my order stamped to Nuremberg. I'm looking for HQ 11th Corps. 11th Corps? They moved a couple of days ago to Kleidsheim. I see you've been in the Army two years. Don't you know you should have your order stamped? Say, look who's coming. Hey, hi. What happened to you? I haven't seen you and your tin horse for quite a while. Just back from a trip east. But as you see, it didn't take long for them to get me on the road again. I'm on my way to Würzburg now. Well, if it isn't the corporal. Do you know him? Know him? Why, he's a good friend of mine. Anything wrong? No, nothing serious. I'll let you through this time. This man with Corporal Schultz can pass. Okay, thanks. I'll be back tomorrow. See, sometimes it's good to have a friend. Where are you going? I'm trying to get to Kreil somewhere tonight. Well, if you don't mind a little detour, I'll give you a ride. Come on. I'll be right back. Just have to make a pickup at the Commandant Tour. Frau Kahn? Frau Kahn, can I have 10 liters? Certainly, sir. There's always some for you. Good day, sir. Badly hit here in Würzburg, weren't you? Yes, last fall. But it's coming back to life again. They moved a big chemical plant into town last month from East Prussia. Uh, there is a base hospital here, isn't there? Yes, up there in the Burg. Most of the casualties from the West come through here. It's next to the factory. Uh, do you have a phone? Inside, it's an army line. It's to your right. Yes? A 
At the base hospital, please. Hello? Uh, base hospital? Yes. Uh, can I talk to Dr. Maurer? Dr. Friedrich Maurer. Hold the line, please. I'll connect you with him. Hello? Hello, this is Dr. Maurer. Operator, did you ring me? Yes, sir. The party's still on the line. I can't hear them. Hello? Hello? Are you calling Dr. Maurer? Hello? Operator, this must be a mistake. Got some friends here? I thought I had. Well, I know a good place where we can spend the night. Right near Kreilsheim. It's a little out of the way, but it's worth it. Heilige, Frau Graf. Heilige! One of the few places left in Germany where a soldier can get a clean bed and a bottle of wine. That is, if he has money. Or if he has a friend who will pay for him. <laughs> That's right. Take care of my friend here. I'll be right back. There's still some wine left. A special guest. Want it? Is this place legal? It's as much a part of the Wehrmacht as your Luftwaffe. Only the dancing is illegal. But then again, it all depends on how you look at it. Want the change? No, never mind. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I would never have asked before, but now I would starve if I didn't. We only open two days a week. Isn't there 11 pounds of station somewhere around here? To be here. Uh, they were, in Kreisheim, right near here. But they've gone. <laughs> a few clerks are all that's left. And once in a while, we get some trenches. Like you. Want to dance? No, thank you. I thought you weren't supposed to nowadays. You're not supposed to have wine either, but that doesn't seem to bother you. You must know your way around here. How about getting me a glass? I'll go ahead, I'm not thirsty. Well, thank you, sir. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you the latest news on the Western Front. In the vicinity of Mannheim, hey. Turn it off. Come on, Kurt. Come on, Kurt. We want music. Yeah, let's have some music. How about the boats? Heavy enemy pressure near Koblenz. Still interested in that? Does it bother you? No, nope. it just bores me. Who wants to know nowadays? Our grenadiers are heroically holding their positions. Holding their positions. Never changes until one morning you'll open the window and they'll be here, the armies. Hilda, will you please tell him to stop it? What's the matter? I can help it, but he makes me This is an official cry. announcement of the Munchen, Commandant Tool. The enemy parachutist reported yesterday near Altmarkt is still at large. He is believed to be wearing Luftwaffe boots, as his footprints near the buried parachute have disclosed. Anything important? This uh, no, nothing important. Well, Hilda, I haven't seen you since Leipzig. They certainly move you people around. Fritzi, this is copper. Say, what is your name? Steiner, Karl Steiner. My name is Scholz, and this is Fritzi Kollwitz. <laughs> Everything's fine. We have a room across the street, and thanks to Fritzi, plenty of food. And now, what's most important? How about something decent to drink? It's not that easy anymore, Hansel. Oh. But I'll see what I can do. <laughs> we were lucky to run into each other, weren't we, Karl? You've got money, and I know how to spend it. Pardon me, but if you still like to dance. Oh, you're not as slow as I thought. I hope you don't think you are doing me a favor. I only changed my mind, that's all. 
But you better hurry up, or there won't be much left. But you learned to dance. In the school, at Potsdam. Had to dance since. Come on, Corporal, I won't break. Is that better? Well, isn't it? Coming, Hilda? I'll be right there. Pretty, huh? Lost her leg a year ago in Breslau. Are you with the show? Yes, Soldatenvarieté. Well, it's still better than the labor front. Not much better. Maybe I'm not what you're looking for. Maybe a sweet young man like you would rather have someone your own age. Aren't you? Now, don't be generous. If you'd seen me a couple of years ago, why, in 42 in the summer, there was an Italian major in Milano. He wanted to marry me. Here, Fritzi has found something special. A real Steininger, 80%. Just right, Hilde. Don't let anybody touch that. How about you? No, thank you. What? Enjoy yourself while you can, soldier. It may not happen to us again. We may all go. All at once. Fast. May I have one of your cigarettes? Well, even if we do, we've had a good time, haven't we? We've given the world 12 years it will never forget. And no matter what they do, they'll never get us out of their system. The number will be a little song which was composed by our soldiers when they were stationed in Paris. Paris, English, Paris. And the Bosch again now. But I remember Paris in 41, that first summer. <laughs> Do you know Paris, Carl? No. The only part of France I've seen was Alsace. Alsace? Yes, I was there with my outfit a few months ago. No two German things of Alsace as a part of France. It's as German as Rhineland or the Saar. I only thought of it as France because I remember we took it from the French. We didn't take it. We took it back. We took what belonged to us and maybe more. Heinz, Heinz, please. You're right, Fritz, you're right. You see what a good influence women are on men. Oh, sometimes, not always. <laughs> I think I better get some sleep. I have to get up very early. Sure, go ahead, Copper. The woman at the desk will show you to your room. Not only did you forget to say goodbye to me, Corporal, but you also forgot the things downstairs. And, uh, and you left these on the table. Thank you. You know, we haven't seen this kind for quite a while. A doctor gave them to me in the hospital. One what? No? I'd like to get some sleep. You want me to get out? Is that it? Yes, I do. You don't like me. Why don't you say so? And that has nothing to do with it. It's just that I feel sorry for you. Sorry for me? Who do you think you are? I've known better men than you, and they didn't turn their noses up at me. But then I suppose they weren't brought up like you. 
Oh, I know your type, the little German builder, pure and honest. You've been taught to keep your distance, to keep your hands clean. Well, you are as dirty as the rest of us now. Come on, get out of here. And let me tell you something. I was in love once with a man who to me was as decent as you think you are. And what's more, he was in love with me. But he was killed in Norway. And when I bore his child, his family turned away from me as, as if I were a stranger. I got a job, nothing to be proud of, but it kept us alive. And then one day my child was killed. There was a raid. And when I came home after work that night, there was nothing left of the street where I lived. I couldn't find her. I never did. From then on, I didn't care what happened. I just hated, hated everybody. But probably myself, most of all. Why? You want to know why? Because I was hungry. Hungry for a little kindness and, and love and... I don't know. Maybe it was all my fault. Anyway, here I am. Dirty, miserable, and alone. There are thousands and thousands like me. Well, now you know me. Are you satisfied? Here, drink this. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help it. What's the matter, dear? Anything wrong? Get out. Get out, I said. You said you were tired. There are thousands and thousands like me. Given the world 12 years, it will never forget. Do you know what you're getting into? Hello? Are you calling Dr. Maurer? Hello? Your father is at the base hospital in Würzburg now. Up on the boat. The hospital is next to the factory. Your main objective is to locate the 11th Panzer Corps. Steiner, here is a message about your transportation. You've got to report to the mock Thank you. Could you help me, Corporal? I have to talk to you. It's shorter this way. Will you follow me? any of my business, who you are, or what you've done, but... What are you talking about? I know it's hard to make you believe I'm telling the truth, but you must trust me. You must. What is it? Last night, you know who sent me to your room? It was Scholz. He ordered me to watch you. Look out. Thank you, Corporal, for helping me. I can carry it myself. Please, Steiner! I'm afraid I have to get back to Nuremberg, but the truck over there is going your way. It's all fixed. The driver knows all about you. <laughs> Sorry about last night. I had a couple too many. Have a good trip.
Here, pass it around. Didn't you say it was Scholz who ordered you to watch me? Yes, it was. Well, if he did, what did you tell me about it? I'm not quite sure why. But last night, for the first time, he made me realize what was happening to me. That I can't go on like this. That there's some reason... All right. Let's suppose you are telling the truth. That Scholz is suspicious of me. It still doesn't prove he's right. I don't care if he's right or not. All I know is they're after you. Look, Carl, I know these people. I know them too well. If you need money... Here. I have this ring. You can sell it. Hilda, the copper here is there. This may help keep you warm. No, thank you. Do you know that man over there? Which one? In the corner with the glasses. Halt! No, I don't. Halt! What's the matter, sir? Everybody off. Oh, I mean, except the ladies. Carl, be careful. I didn't lie to you. You think you can still see what you're shooting at? Yes, at your orders, Oberleutnant. All right, Sergeant. Take them away. Left! Fist! Forward! March! Take the woman to the village and have the truck inspected by our ordinance. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Ten more. Get all your papers out and stand by. Twenty-seven altogether, Herr Oberleutnant. All right, man. You are about to be processed to see which one of you will fulfill our needs here. This is an emergency measure taken by all of the commanding General 11th Panzer Corps. Those of you who will not be selected will be allowed to proceed on to your regular units. At ease. Carry on, Klinger. Say, isn't that a medic back there? I'm talking to you, Lancer. Come on, you heard the lieutenant. Move out. Soltbu. Come on. What unit are you going to? The 20th flag, sir. Attached to the 16th Infantry Division. All right. Get him to the colonel's quarters right away. Uh, yes, but sir. what about my unit, sir? They'll have to get along without you, I guess. Come on, follow me. Lieutenant Bülow said this man is to report to Oberst von Ecker. Oh, yes. Kühnemann. Yes, sir. Take this man upstairs to Major Hartmann. He knows all about it. Yes, sir. Hartmann, give me his file. Here it is, sir. The court martial convened upon my orders yesterday has found you guilty of willful desertion. And I therefore recommend that the extreme penalty be imposed, that you be hanged by the neck until death. I can't see any reason why their sentence should not be carried out. I beg you, sir. My wife and children were bombed out. I had to find a place for them to keep them alive. So you took it upon yourself to stay with them and neglect your duty. But that was my only mistake, sir, after 20 years' service. Today it's more than a mistake. It's a crime. You labor should know that better than any of the others. Yes, sir. But you can't let them kill me for that. I beg you, sir. Not just for myself, but for my family, my children. I'm sorry. In these times, the discipline of our troops is more important than our personal destinies. That's all, Weber. Sir, I beg you to reconsider. I'll do anything, anything Stop you it. ask. You're supposed to be a soldier. Act like one. Take him away. Come with me. Take your coat off. The 
Medic is here, sir. All right. The Luftwaffe is about the only uniform we haven't collected here as yet. At ease. Your name and unit? Corporal Steiner, sir. Grand S. Pluck. I was on my way to Mannheim to rejoin my unit. There's a tray on the table next to my bed. Bring it here, please. Yes, sir. Will you read the labels aloud? Yes, sir. Five ampoules of digifoline, one cc in case of emergency. Nitroglycerin tablets, one tenth of a gram. Alcohol. That's all, sir. You are a medic. Do you know what this is for? Yes, sir. It's used in case of a severe attack of Inchina Victoris. A heart disease, sir. Pretty good. Well, then you know what's wrong with me. Unfortunately, I had to send my orderly to Darmstadt to get more of this stuff. As you see by the prescription, it's important that in case of an attack, the dose be exactly one cc and be given immediately. An overdose or a delay can be fatal. Yes, sir. I can see that. Well, that will be all for the moment. You better make yourself comfortable. You'll be here for a while. Would you always like me to serve his dinner now? I'd hoped you wouldn't remind me of it. But I suppose a man has to eat, even when he has no appetite. Fix the blankets on the windows. Yes, sir. Hartmann. And there's a candle on my desk. Bring it here, please. At your order, sir, West. About our forward echelon. Have they left? Two battalions of the 21st started for Mannheim an hour ago, sir. The 5th will be starting in the morning. Fine. Will you be sure to remind the commanding officers that despite their being in General Jaeger's area, they are still under my direct command? Yes, sir. And that they will not take orders from anyone but me? Yes, sir. I'm sorry to bother you, sir, but about the deserter. Have you signed the order for his execution? No, I have not. Thank you, Admiral. There's a bottle of Neustein in the locker. Yes, sir. And there must be another glass around here. There by the window. I don't enjoy drinking wine by myself. I don't care for any, unless Obus insists. I do insist. Furthermore, you needn't stand at attention all the time. And for heaven's sake, stop addressing me in the third person. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Don't make me repeat things. Does he always uh, do you wish anything else, sir? Nothing. There's an extra blanket on my bed. You can go to sleep as soon as you have cleared the table. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, shall I clean your pistol before I put it back in your holster, sir? No, you will put it next to my bed. I want it here. Yes, sir. And, uh, and by the way, don't forget to remind me in the morning to sign the order of the execution. Yes, sir. Here. I said you can take these blankets. Thank you, sir. Shall I turn the lamp off? Just turn it down a little.
Are you there, Corporal? Yes, sir, I'm here. Good night. Good night, sir. Two battalions of the 21st of Mannheim. The fifth starts in the morning. You will be here for a while. Get back here, Happy. Get back here in five days. In case of an attack, an overdose or a delay can be fatal. Is he up? No, sir. He had a very bad night. What is it? It's me, sir, Hartmann. I have the morning report for you, sir. Give it to the corporal. I'll be ready for you in half an hour. Yes, sir. What time is it? A few minutes past six, sir. Help me. Hmm. You know, I had a dream. I dreamt you were the deserter I sentenced, and that you wanted to shoot me. I had forgotten that people like that are too weak. They would never have the courage to kill, even if it is to save themselves. Sometimes it takes more courage not to kill. I would have preferred you had not answered me in that way. But you just saved my life, whatever that's worth. And so instead of punishing you, I would like to do something for you. I would suggest that he always remain quiet and not exert himself. Third person again, Corporal. I'm sorry, sir. How about a week's leave at home? Hmm? Would that suit you? Thank you, sir. I have my duty at the front. There's only one thing, however. Yes, what is it? Maybe it's foolish of me. But if you would have mercy on the deserter and put him in prison instead. Corporal. Your profession is to save lives, even the unworthy. Well, mine is to take it, even the wealthy. I know that it is insane to claim that we can throw back the enemies that surround us. But in one hour, in front of the officers of my division, I will claim just that. I'll do so because it is my belief that at all costs we must fight to the bitter end. That is the reason why now more than ever I must maintain the discipline of my division. And that is the reason why this man must die. Adjutant, give me some wine. Those pills, they always make me thirsty. Uh, shall I bring you a glass of water, sir? I hate water. This is von Ecker. The medic you sent me yesterday, Corporal... Uh, what's your name again? Corporal Steiner, sir. Steiner, Corporal Steiner. I want him forwarded onto his unit by the first available transportation. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Yes, thank you, sir. To our country. To our country.
Get the men off the trucks, quick! Yes, sir. Everybody off the trucks. The bridge is out. You have to cross the foot. Come on, everybody off. Line up the tunnel of three. Hey, everybody off. We've crossed on foot. Everybody off the tracks. The bridge is out. We'll have to cross on foot. Come on, everybody off. Line up and come over free. Hurry up. Everybody off. We've crossed on foot. Everybody off the tracks. My glasses. I've lost my glasses. I, I can't see without them. Here they are. Oh. It was very kind of you to help me. My name is Brandenbacher, Ernst Brandenbacher. Most people call me Ernst. It's easier. We better get going. We reload on the other side. Hurry up! 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 Hurry up!
Uh, yes, but just this. But I know, I know. Get over there. Keep an eye on him. Come on, get back. Central Commandant Tour has just received information that a man suspected of being a dangerous enemy saboteur escaped a few hours ago from the Wehrmacht control point at the main Rhine bridge. He is wearing the uniform of a corporal in a Luftwaffe. He is about 20 years of age. His appearance is slender, average height, blonde, fair complexion. As last seen, he wore a Red Cross armband on his left arm, a pistol belt and boots. He identifies himself... Hey, Sergeant! The of what are you doing there? Hey, we are talking to you. What's the matter? Are you there for something? Come on, let's see your papers. Halt! 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 They didn't hit this place during a show. How about it? He's not here. Go on, keep looking. Hey, we better get out before the whole place collapses. Oh, watch it. The floor is full of holes. Hey, look what I found. Where? What is it? What's happening Over here? What are you doing there? Fritz found this tree of pearls. Looks like real stuff. Remember, this used to be a theater. He probably found Aida's necklace or something. shouldn't be out, but my child got hurt by flying glass. I have to get some iodine. Don't turn me in, please. Here, I have money. Here, some iodine and bandages. You better get off the street now. Believe me, it's only because of my child. You're not going to turn me in, please. You promise. I promise. Don't be afraid. Go ahead now. God bless you. That's just a moment. I'm looking for a Nekerstrasse 18. It's a second street to the right. Thank you.
Tiger! What are you doing here? I had to come. They're after me. They're after you? And you lead them here, you idiot? Nobody follows me, I promise you. There's a message that we must send right away. What is it? I found the location of the 11th Panzer Corps. They are... Where are they? I want to see Lieutenant Renick. I'm not important enough for you, huh? Come on, let's see it, you man. I said talk! Who is it, Tiger? We have a guest, Lieutenant. Go ahead. I know I'm not supposed to come here, but I spent last night... Get inside. Where'd you get this address? I heard Tiger give it to you on the plane. I was trying to get across the Rhine when they nearly caught me. My name is on the blacklist. That helps a lot. Why'd you come here? I have some very important information to send. I knew you had a radio, that's why I came. I'm afraid you're too late. We had a near miss this morning, the concussion damaged the transmitter. I haven't been able to make contact since. We will have to do something about him, Lieutenant. You know what will happen if he falls into their hands. What's the word from General Jaeger? General Jaeger and two members of his staff were gravely wounded this morning while on a routine inspection to across the front. Here, you can read it yourself. We tried to contact the general at the hospital in Heidelberg where he is, or is supposed to be. It was impossible. Impossible? Why? The hospital is under heavy SS guards. No one is allowed to enter without special permission. You mean to imply the whole story may be a fake? We have often encountered worse fakes than this. Well, what do you propose to do? What about yourself and all the other officers? You plan to carry out the agreement? I'm afraid without the general, we have no power over the troops. It's too much of a risk. A great many lives are at stake, Germans as well as Americans. Isn't it worth taking the risk? I'm sorry, but I can't. And I'm sure the others feel as I do. The lives of our families and our friends are involved. Besides, now it's all too late. We should have acted a long time ago. Yeah, but then it was too early. Sure, you always wanted to get rid of him, but you were never willing to take a chance of the responsibility. Why? Because you wanted to hang on to your ranks, your titles, your jobs. And today, when you could still save the most important thing of all, your souls, you haven't got the guts to do it. They're right to call you traitors, because you've betrayed yourselves. There's only one way I can answer you, Lieutenant. It's all very easy for you to say. You were never in our shoes. That's true. I hope we never will be. Okay. What are you going to do, Lieutenant? Get out of here fast before one of the gentlemen starts to talk. I guess it's all right. Nobody followed him. Was this arena planned for this sector, Lieutenant? Yeah, why? I spent last night at the headquarters of 11th Panzer Corps. Two of their regiments moved into position this morning, here, on both flanks of General Jäger's troops. Looks like we're walking right into a trap. We gotta get back, Tiger, as quick as we can. But how can we make it, sir? You heard him, he nearly got caught himself. It must be the Rheinbridge. I saw them placing the charges. There goes our last chance. Isn't there any other way to get across? Sure, if you want to swim. All right, what's the best place to try? Swim? You're not serious. Every inch of the shore is fortified. Even if we get past them and past your own artillery fire, we'd freeze in the icy water. Maybe we can try. One of us is sure to get through. Well, if you're so brave, why didn't you do it before? Besides, how do we know he didn't make the whole thing up? How do we know he's telling the truth? Maybe it's just trying Shut to... Shut up. Get the extra travel orders out and the date stamp. All right, go ahead, Abby. I want you to brief us in every place you've been, everything you've seen. I have 
have a sister-in-law who lives on the third floor. From there, we can get a good view of the river. Okay, go ahead. Decide on the best spot to cross the river. I have made up my mind. I am not going. What? Sure, it's all right for you to take that kind of a chance. But me and him, when it's all over, our own people will spit in our faces. And you, you will say thank you and fly home. Then why did you take this job? Why did you join them in the first place? Because I wanted to live a little better, not to get killed. And if you will be honest with yourself, you did it for the same reason. I did it because I wanted to help my country. Uh. And now more than ever, I'm sure that what I did was right. Well, isn't it noble of him? Who are you fooling? Do you think anybody will believe you? It doesn't matter. I don't expect him to. Besides, it isn't important. The important thing is what we believe in. Knock it off, both of you. Look, I don't care why you did it. You're in this now, and neither one of you is backing out. You better get that through your head, Tagger. You know too much to be left behind. I didn't mean it that way. You must have heard everything, the little brat. You look downstairs. I will see him hiding here. You watch for him below. I look around on this floor. You let her slide. You kill him. Let him go. Stop it. Don't you see he's only a kid? Let him go, I said. Crazy, you. Happy, stop him, quick! Who names is reporting us?
What's the matter with you? Nothing. Nothing. You probably made the whole thing up, Max. Right from the start. I suppose you're right. How you mean? You better get out of here. Yes, sir. All right, then. Everybody up this way. Hey, Berger, let's get going. You, Tiger, get ready. Just take it easy for a minute. In case something happens to me. Have you got everything straight? Yeah, I've got it all, don't worry. Do you remember the Würzburg target, sir? A uh, chemical plant they moved in from East Prussia. <coughs> Isn't it very important? <coughs> Do you think they will bomb it? Well, I hope so. Why? I found out that my father was transferred from the hospital in Berlin. And just... And what? He's stationed in Würzburg now. The hospital is next to the factory. Think you can make it now? I think I can. Hey, come on. Yes, sir. We'll remain over here. Give the front watch out for any attempt of enemy crossing. 
Take your order, sir. Hans, get the first platoon ready. Quick! Right away, sir. All men of second and third platoon, come with me. We'll have to wait. We'll put down one more strand. If the cramp starts again, hang on to my shirt. Someone moving out there. southern boundary near Neckaran, the other about three kilometers north of there. WM1967 on the Darmstadt Mannheim sheet. Okay? Yes, I'll send the detail report over within an hour. What? Well, they must have been asleep at the switch up there. Well, anyway, it's good news. All right, bye. First Army beat us to it again. They found a bridge the Germans forgot to blow at Remagen, and they're pouring into Germany like an Army Day parade. I'd be happy to give Berlin to the first if it get me home sooner. Good news, huh, Renny? Hmm? Oh, fine, sir. The cigarette, Pete? Look, I know how you feel. There isn't much you can do about it. A kid like Happy, even if he came through it alive, a traitor's always a traitor, no matter what his reasons are. We didn't hesitate about using him. In a war, to save lives, you use whoever you can. The trouble is, you always lose the best ones, because it's always the best ones who are willing to take a chance. You better get some rest. It'll do you good. Siebert, get me cadet forward. Yes, sir. Come on, you hero. Straighten up. You ought to be grateful you're alive. Don't worry. I am. Get forward. Hold on just a minute, please. Griffin! Yes, sir? Staying on with the old man. Griffin, take Lieutenant Rennick to the common. Yes, sir. All kidding aside, Jack. Take it easy for a while. I will, Pete. I'll see you later. Sure glad to have you back, Lieutenant. Thanks. Hey, you better put this on. You were pretty lucky, sir. Too bad about the kid. Huh? I mean, happy. Yeah. Well, I guess it's no good thinking about it. After all, it was just another crowd. A man stays alive as long as he's remembered and is killed only by forgetfulness. So long, Happy. Let your real name remain unknown. But let the memory of your sacrifice serve as a key to the meanings of treason. It was to me.